Good morning. We are looking at dream jobs yet again, and this is our second analysis. So for our second analysis, we are going to go through a bunch of new jobs. This time we have a bunch of jobs that you may or may not have heard of. So I wanted to go through what the second analysis group looks like. So again, you want to look at your uh, Musella grouping. Notice that it is Musella Dream Jobs second analysis posting. When you click on the link, you should see a collection of articles that you can choose from. So our first uh, Musella article that we can choose from is a dream job of a herpetologist. Now, a herpetologist is going to be someone that studies reptiles and amphibians. This type of scientist, someone that uh, essentially for laymen, people that uh, are not in the know, would be someone that's very familiar with snakes, is going to be uh, actively engaged in understanding the biodiversity within the field of reptiles, amphibians, snakes, um, and understanding what is necessary within that field. Now, again, notice there are multiple writing prompts for this assignment. There's one, two, three. You're only responsible to answer one of the writing prompts. If you answer more than one of the writing prompts, each extra one will be counted as extra credit. You're also responsible to take the quiz. Okay? You're all for the dream job analysis, you only have to pick one dream job. It again is not necessarily your dream job. These are just someone's dream job. You're just picking one that you find interesting. Interesting in terms of this is something you'd like to know more about. This is something that you just find to be an interesting topic or interesting in that maybe you would like to do this job or interesting in that it's related to a field that you are interested in. Take the term interesting to mean that it is of interest to you in a variety of ways. Okay? So our first one up is a herpetologist. Our next dream job is a geographer. Now often when we think of geography we think of it as that subject that you had once for half a year in seventh grade. But a geographer is often a job or field that is overlooked as a category of study and activity that actually has an active and rich uh, field of employment. Um, Geographers not only study the physical features of the planet, but they also study how humans affect the physical features of the planet um, and how humans uh, live and interact with the world and, and uh, each other. So... This one might might be a little bit different than you are expecting. Uh, again, there, there are multiple writing prompts on this one. You're only responsible for one. You can choose to do more than one. For the dream job physicist, if you have not taken physics or had physics introduced to you, in your science class, this might be something that you're unfamiliar with. Now, physics is a branch of science that studies 
the relationship between physical matter and its uh, interaction with space and speed and how those those physical objects move in relationship to each other. So often physics is going to study planetary interaction, but that also studies uh, physical objects within our own uh, our our own world and how they move and interact with one another and understanding how a physical uh, entity, ourselves, a car, uh, a physical object like a desk could move or not move if another force is applied to it. So understanding what this job does and the implications of their intellectual study could be very interesting if you wanted to know more about uh, connections to either working in a space program or working in any sort of like science and engineering programs. Our next one up is an explorer. Now, when we talk about explorers, we tend to talk about them about being in like the 14th or 15th century, or we talk about them in sci-fi stories, but exploration still happens today. And in this regard, this is a, an explorer that is exploring the uh, polar ice cliff caps and um, doing exploration in uh, mountain climbing. So this, this individual um, talks about their life engaging in exploration uh, activities and what, what that is, uh, what that's like, and what they can do um, to live that that existence and again multiple writing prompts that they that you can choose from you're only required to do one you can choose to do more than one for extra credit our next one up is a pathologist now if you've watched any crime show ever. Um, pathologists are actually featured fairly regularly, um, whether they're the central figure or a uh, pop-on character. But a pathologist is someone that is going to uh, be an individual that analyzes um, key pieces of evidence, key pieces of data to uh, find out whether or not there is information that is uh, helpful or relevant to solving the crime. But honestly, these technicians are going to be those that are a variety of scientific backgrounds. And pathology is actually very much a large area of study. Um, so within this article, you can definitely get a lot of information about what um, the pathological backgrounds are and understand that it's not just the CSI effect. It's not just the uh, crime show effect. There's lots of things that that are connected to this. You can be involved in researching for um, solving major diseases. You can be involved in um, doing doing trials to um, 
find find cures. Um, there's you could be in, involved in lots of lots of technical work that would provide answers to individuals that are trying to solve their major medical uh, concerns. So uh, pathologists perform a vital function necessary for survival. Our next dream job is an inventor. Now, inventions are something that have had really mass heydays and then waning periods. But an inventor is something that can be widely uh, viable as a means of success. Now, this can be something that you create an object, a, a, um, a device, a, um, a physical thing. You could create a program. You could uh, be able to um, develop something that could revolutionize uh, society, but the idea is, will it change life or will it be a product that kind of sits on the shelves? Uh, it's all about whether or not it's a thing that people want and need. Find out more about that in the Inventor article. And our last one up is that of an architect. Now, these are the, the people that are going to be creating the physical uh, designs and plans for uh, structures within our society. Now, these structures are, um, whether they be physical homes for people, uh, the buildings that, that people work in, people live in, um, these are going to be the designs and projects that will stand for periods of time and you need them to function for um, a, a, a purpose beyond that of hopefully your lifetime. Um, so it's important to get a, a grasp as to what this career means and what, what it can mean in terms of um, professional responsibilities. So that is our group of dream jobs for this round. If you have any questions, let me know and have a great day.